everybody. I hope you guys are all enjoying your Wednesday. My name is Brandon Anthony, and you are watching Phantom Weather Channel. We have our eyes set on a severe weather event that is expected to impact a large swath of the Great Lakes and Ohio Valley region during the day tomorrow. All severe hazards are going to be on the table, including large hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. So here's tomorrow's SPC outlook newly issued. As you guys can see, all of the of the Ohio Valley region northward into lower Michigan, eastern lower Michigan in particular, uh, is firmly locked in in that slight risk of severe weather. On the Storm Prediction Center's 1 to 5 scale, that is a 2 out of 5, so it means that scattered severe storms are possible. I am seeing some potential to an upgrade to an enhanced risk in later outlooks, but we'll see kind of how that pans out as stuff goes along. Now let's break down our individual threats. Uh, we do, as most of our severe weather events go up here for these northern regions, damaging winds is going to be our primary concern. We're also watching an elevated threat of hail as well, especially once you get into the upper portion of the Ohio River Valley. Uh, I think that's where we're going to have the highest chance to get uh, some of those rotating storms that can produce hail and tornadoes as well. So here's that tornado outlook. Right now, we have a broad, very marginal low-end threat for tornadoes uh, from eastern lower Michigan southward through the Ohio and Tennessee River Valleys and then back eastward all the way out to the Carolinas. So this is a very broad threat of a couple isolated tornadoes. Although I am seeing some possibility to an upgrade to higher tornado probabilities. If that does happen, it will probably happen somewhere across the Ohio Valley. I'm even taking a gamble with saying it might even get expanded into southeastern lower Michigan as well. But we'll see kind of how that pans out. I don't want to jump the gun just yet. Just know that this is looking like a rather impactful severe weather event uh, for a good swath of the Midwest tomorrow, July 20th. So... Here's a look at why we are seeing what we are seeing on the NAM model. We have an upper level disturbance right now across the upper Midwest. This is bringing a bunch of severe weather up there from the plains all the way up to the Canadian border. Minnesota has the chance to get some severe storms today with tornadoes possible as well. This disturbance is going to track off into the Great Lakes as we get into tomorrow morning. And as that happens, it's kind of going to pull all of the thermodynamic moisture northward uh, that's needed to get those big storms tomorrow during the day. So here's a look at that moisture simulation through tomorrow. We got 70s dew points getting firmly locked in and pulled into the Midwest as we go throughout the afternoon tomorrow. That's all those purple colors there. That's where it's extremely muggy when you step outside. You're going to feel that there's storms coming as soon as you crack a window open. If you live anywhere across the Ohio Valley or lower Great Lakes tomorrow afternoon. And then that cold front moves in and kind of pushes it out of the way. Now, what is that moisture going to do to our energy in index? It is going to explode that energy index here. As we go throughout tomorrow during the day, uh, you can see these deeper, brighter colors on the screen here, maximizing across the lower Great Lakes and our higher river valley here with a sharp cutoff along that cold front as we head into the evening. I'll back that up real quick so you guys can see that simulation again. All of these yellows and reds here, this is extremely favorable instability and energy that is needed to get those big, strong to severe storms here. And that clashing with that, those winds turning with height in that upper level disturbance, uh, that is going to set the stage for a severe weather event. Now, there's two possible scenarios that we're outlining here. The first one is depicted by the NAM model, and I want to show you guys that one first. The NAM model has a couple of storms, uh, weakening storms across the lower Ohio Valley tomorrow morning. And then as we go into the early afternoon tomorrow, pretty much everything's clear across the Ohio Valley. A few spotty showers and storms here and there, but you will notice something happening by about noon tomorrow. We have a line of storms developing over northern Michigan, uh, and it is it is showing this moving off to the southeast. It could be pretty intense. Uh, we're looking at, you know, brief heavy rainfall, a couple of damaging wind gusts here, but this is an organized line kind of riding the cold front that pushes into southeast Michigan and Metro Detroit as we get into about 4 or 5 p.m. tomorrow, and then back end storms could develop in northern Indiana and northern Ohio. So that is what would happen if we just saw storms developing along the squall line, which this model kind of has a tendency of showing. But will that actually happen? Here's another scenario here on the high resolution rapid refresh model. We call it the HER model. And this one here is showing uh, quite a bit of activity as we get into tomorrow morning. We got a lot of isolated, you know, scattered showers and storms across the lower Great Lakes, even northern Michigan as well. There's a lot going on here. Now, with all of this cloud cover and all this rain in the area, that is at first at least going to kind of kill all the instability in the area that's needed to get those significant storms developing in the afternoon. 
But this does look like it's going to clear out, especially once we get to about 2 p.m. tomorrow afternoon across lower Michigan. And once that happens, the environment's going to bubble up and it is going to re-energize and we will see explosive severe thunders from development once we get between 4 and 6 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. And this goes for southeast Michigan all the way down into Indiana and western Ohio as well again. We're looking at an all-severe weather hazard event here, so damaging winds and hail is going to be the main thing, but where we are able to utilize those pockets of spin there, there could be tornado activity as well. Uh, tornadoes and hail are going to be most common with supercell storms that develop throughout the day tomorrow across Michigan into the Ohio Valley region. And then we go into tomorrow uh, evening into the overnight, and storms are weakening. Now, flash flooding is not going to be a major concern tomorrow because these are kind of stop and go type storms where, you know, they're going to hit you, move out of the way, and then that might be it. Especially if we see a scenario like the first model was showing where it's just storms along the cold front. But we are concerned a little bit about flash flooding, especially across eastern Michigan. So let's zoom into that area here. As you guys can see, the Weather Prediction Center really isn't expecting a ton of rainfall across these areas, but we have seen a lot of it over the course of the last couple of weeks. And so it's not going to take much more to get some flooding, especially if you live in northern lower Michigan or eastern lower Michigan. All these blue colors here, this is where you're looking at about uh, estimated a half of an inch to an inch of rainfall here. Some areas could easily pick up over an inch. Uh, the rain is going to be falling heavy enough to where if it stays on top of you for an hour, you know, you could easily get over an inch of rainfall. Uh, but it's going to be, you know, very localized and it's going to depend on where these storms try to train and track over the same area. So it's kind of tough to see exactly how much rain you're going to get, but it does look like you're going to get a pretty solid amount, especially if we do see an organized squall line in the eastern lower peninsula of Michigan. So that is going to wrap it up for this update. If you guys did enjoy it and you want to get the word out to other people, be sure to drop a like on the video and share the word so we can get this information out to other people. Other than that, that is all that's going on in the weather today. And this is Braden Anthony signing off.